Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to see how to select a charger for a mobile upon many requests and comments on the unboxing video of 25W Samsung charger. And further being said, let's get started. First of all, you need to make sure that you understand these terms while choosing a charger. 1. The input of your charger. 2. The output of your charger. and 3. The input of your mobile device. While considering the input of your charger, you need to know these three things. 1. The operating voltage rating. 2. Operating frequency. And 3. The operating amperes. Ok. Let me show you an example with the charger. Ok. Here on the screen you can see the input of the Samsung charger is 100 to 240 volts and the frequency is 50 to 60 hertz and the operating amperes is 0.7a. 0.7a is the operating amperes where while speaking about the 100 to 240 volts it is the operating voltage rating is an alternating current supply which is being transmitted from the power station usually we see 100 to 240 volts nowadays in india most of the charges having the 100 to 240 volts this means it will work on any alternating current input voltage from 100 to 240 volts ac and you might also see some charges having the input voltage rating of 200 to 240 volts and some has 240 volts usually sometimes in a house or office low voltage occurs for a considerable time but you need to charge your mobile immediately in this case you cannot charge your mobile which can support 100 to 240 volts with the 200 to 240 volts or 240 volts you need to make sure it has only 100 to 240 volts because even though the lower voltage occurs it will not damage your mobile or your charger so while you're having a low voltage if you choose a charger of 200 to 240 volts it will damage your mobile or it will it will end up in disaster and while speaking about the 50 to 60 hertz it is the operating frequency it indicates that it is connected to alternating current where the hertz is equal to the frequency which indicates the cycles per second in india we can see the frequency of 50 hertz in usa you can see the 60 hertz mostly all ac supplies worldwide are either 50 or 60 hertz and 3. The operating amperes is the current drawn from the alternating current input source at full output load. And the operating amperes differs with the company's chargers, whereas the Samsung charger has 0.7 as operating amperes. And while, while seeing the Apple charger, it has 0.45 as the operating amperes. And you can see the, the Amai charger has the 0.36 as the operating amperes. You have known the input of your charger. Now let's now let's know the output of your charger. For this, again here on the screen you can see the Samsung charger which has the output has the 5 volt 3 amperes which means 5 into 3 equals to which supports 15 watt and also you can see 9 volts 2.77 amperes which which is equals to 25 watts and you can also see I am calculating the maximum one that is the 5.9 volts into 3 amperes equals to 18 watts where you can see from in between the 3.3 to 5.9 volts into 3 amperes which means between the 80, between the 15 to 25 watts it can charge any device that has the fast charging capability I need to make sure you understand these terms and 5 volt 1 amperes equals to 5 watts you cannot you can choose the 5 watt charger for a mobile of 10 watt capability but it does not charge the mobile fastly you need to make sure that it has the same voltage rating of the charger and your device voltage rating capability rating if you choose a 3 volt or 2.5 volt charger for the device capable of 5 voltage rating it will charge it will take more time and the charger will be hot quickly and it may get damaged so make sure you buy a good quality charger which has some certification Symbols like MFI, ROHS and BIS. BIS means the Bureau of Indian Standards and MFI is the made for Apple products which got approval from the Apple and also the ROHS means the restriction of certain hazardous substances. Well you have known the input of your charger and the output of your charger. You can probably know that you might question me how to know if your device supports fast charging or not. Now go to the Google. For example, if you see the Samsung A52 mobile has a fast cap fast charging capacity or not. Now let's go to the website. Here you can see it supports a 25 watt charging which means the fast charging and probably you know you might know all kind of info from this website and nowadays we used to have adaptive battery which helps to regulate and limits the battery for infrequently used apps 
and your phone will learn how to use how you use apps over time and optimize the charging of your usage and most probably you might also see the adaptive charging which is available on pixel 4 xl and pixel 4a and pixel 4a 5g and pixel 5 here on the screen you can check the adaptive charging option which helps to provide the prolong of the battery it it will only works when the charger when you charge the device after 9 pm with an active alarm set between the 5 am to 10 am it will stay 80% overall the night before one hour or half an hour of the time you set for alarm it will reach the 100% now you may question what happens if we charge the mobile even if it reaches 100% in this case the charger is not charging the battery anymore it is powering the phone and when the charging drops the charger kicks in the charging to complete it 100% the batteries last long if they are kept between 80% to 40% so charging to 100% will shorten the battery's longevity because of the cycles for a number of cycles the battery loses its efficiency that's why company charge the mobile to 60% which helps to decreasing the cycles and helps in longevity. I do not suggest leaving your mobile phone for overnight charging, no risk at all. But any small defect created inside the battery due to any reasons of water dust, shock or thermal reasons, overheating, it will lead to risk of fire and explosion. So well this is the If you have come this far, it means a lot to me. If you enjoy my content, subscribe my channel with be an incredible support. I am Asha, this is hashtag a week and we'll meet in the next one. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the,